Assalamu alaikum everyone. Dr. Amnaskar here from Chemistry Department, Division of Science and Technology, University of Education, Lahore. Today, the topic we are going to discuss is the validation and validation based on design qualification. Right, this is a topic from Analytical Chemistry, Semester 4, BS Semester 4. The course code is CHEM 2112. The key components or key concepts which are uh, important and we will be discussing the first one is mm, uh, uh, definitely the validation the term validation and then the goal of validation right some definitions relevant with the term validation need of validation why it is required scope of validation then the importance of validation reasons of validation phases of validation and then uh, after discussing the phases uh, design qualification is actually one of the phase one of the phases of the validation so design qualification so validation validation is defined as a documented program which provides a high degree of assurance that a specific process will constant, consistently produce a product meeting its predetermined specifications and quality attributes. That means you have some predetermined specifications and predetermined quality attributes or quality characters uh, and which you have decided that your product should have. And this uh, validation, this is a documented program that means a properly documented process program, uh, which is going to ensure you that whether you are going uh, towards your specifications, your attributes, or you are deviating somewhere. Um, another uh, definition uh, of the validation is that the validation is the process of evaluating the products or analytical methods to ensure compliance with the products or cleaning method requirements right so again uh, the words are are a bit changed but the meaning of the statement is uh, almost the same which the first one is saying that that this is the process of evaluating the products or evaluating your services which you are providing and uh, for that whatever the methods you are using are they are they going in compliance with the products or they are not going right okay then according to who validation means providing documented evidence that any procedure process activity or system actually leads to the expected results this is what WHO World Health Organization says about the term validation. Now, uh, introducing some of the details regarding the validation. So, the concept of validation was first introduced or proposed by two FTA officials, Ted Byer and Bud Ofters in the mid of 1970s 1970s uh, the decay in the mid of the decay of 1970s in order to improve the quality of pharmaceuticals right so the first time this term was introduced for the quality improvement process of pharmaceutical uh, products which are the drugs and medicines uh, uh, in the simple words uh, so, uh, according to the uh, FDA, validation is establishing a uh, documented evidence which provides high degree of assurance that a specific process will produce a product meeting its predetermined pre specifications and quality attributes. So, uh, again, what FDA is saying, FDA is saying that this is the documented evidence and uh, the purpose of the evidence the documented evidence is to provide the assurance of 
maintaining the um, predetermined uh, goals and specifications need for validation okay um, it is actually a very basic requirement for the product quality system definitely if you are producing a product if you are uh, synthesizing some product if you are providing some uh, services to the clients whatsoever you are doing the quality is the basic requirement quality is the foremost the most important requirement so validation is the basic thing which is going to help you in in this process right so assure you the validation assures you that every lot of each product that means each product which is belonging to the lots different lots and every lot of each product that is released to the market will be consistently meeting all the requirements of the quality that means uh, validation is trying to maintain the quality of each product of every lot that means every single product right okay capable of achieving the intended results whatever the results are intended what whatever the results are required or desired um, validation is going to help you in achieving those results hmm. okay importance of validation so uh, if you are following and maintaining the documented process of validation what is the importance of maintaining this reduction of quality costs definitely you are maintaining a proper documented evidence of each and everything so uh, the cost will be reduced because uh, you are designing properly you are going properly you are going through the process properly you are uh, doing uh, the process of validation at each and every step at each and every product so um, uh, ultimately the cost will be reduced because uh, uh, the products जो जिनमें बहुत ज़्यादा एरर्स आ जाएँ या फॉल्ट आ जाएँ वो सब सारी बातें आपको डिस्कार्ड करने पड़ते हैं तो उनका चांस मिनिमाइज हो जाता है इन डेट में यू हैव रिड्यूस द क्वालिटी कॉस्ट सो यू हैव गेन्ड अ गुड क्वालिटी प्रोडक्ट अचीवमेंट द टारगेट इज अचीव येट यू हैव कंट्रोल द कॉस्ट राइट एंड द सेकेंड इज द प्रोसेस optimization definitely when you are documented each and everything regarding the process what you can do is um, you can you can optimize your process you can you can do the changes and you can get that in this way we are getting the product in in 
a better phase or a better quality. So you can optimize your process. Assurance of quality. Definitely. Yes. This is the basic goal. So yeah, yeah, to hey. Then is the safety. Yeah. If you are uh, going through the whole process neatly and uh, you are uh, keeping the records and you are uh, trying to keep each and everything uh, in a, in a predetermined pre uh, decided way uh, you will keep the product safe you will keep the process safe you will keep the uh, system safe and you will keep yourself safe as well increase outputs definitely uh, whenever you are going through a very organized process uh, at times you are getting the output which is even better than the um, proposed one right so when you are going through uh, a proper quality assurance system quality management system and you are doing the validation properly at each and every step yes there is a chance that you can have Increase output of the product more rapid automation yes if you have uh, uh, automated systems if you are working in a laboratory and you have automated system and you are keeping the records of uh, processes going through it you can do the automation more rapidly okay now reasons for validation uh, up till now we have discussed many thing about the validation and now we are giving the reasons um, when uh, we are doing the validation uh, uh, is it good or bad and what are the reasons which are making this more important so the first one is customer satisfaction uh, satisfaction definitely if you are uh, doing the proper validation of the process doing proper validation of the system proper validation of the steps and the products um, you are going to get a nice better quality product and that will make your customer a satisfied customer number two product liability okay definitely again uh, your product will be liable uh, everyone uh, every consumer who's using your product and every time the product turns out good that will make the product valuable for them reduce production costs uh, as this process results in mm, the lesser number of faulty products so uh, at the end of the day you are getting your uh, cost of the production uh, reduced yeah, right so now sports import uh, improvements um, improved imp you can get the improved system you can get the improved services you can get the improved uh, products so uh, validation if you are uh, maintaining proper system of validation yes it, it supports the improvements regulatory requirements it is a regulatory requirement as well because the validation makes the, the things um, smoother so if you are uh, uh, keeping it as your regular practice to do the validation it will it will be uh, better for the system the whole system prevention a based activity important part of the quality building process uh, this is actually uh, uh, when you are doing the validation from the start uh, you are actually preventing the quality loss or bad quality so this is prevention prevention pre prevention a uh, 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 nice way to prevent the faults or the problems in your product or in your service services as well expenses expensive in the beginning later will save the money yes we have discussed this as well that maybe in the start it will be a bit tedious and it will be a bit costly but at the end when all the products are going excellent and the customer is satisfied and your product is uh, reliable uh, for them and uh, you are getting every time Mm, lesser production costs so at the end of the day yes it is going to save your money phases of validation uh, 
we have four phases of validation and these are actually uh, you can say the steps as well steps for the validation or phases for the validation the first one is design qualification second one is installation qualification we design qualification is uh, at times called as uh, dq installation qualification is at times called iq Op operational or operation uh, qualification oq performance qualification pq hmm. validation flow of events uh, uh, this is a nice uh, picture which is uh, if you go into detail of this flow of events you can have a very nice clear idea that how the validation is going uh, through the whole process right so the first thing first is design qualification dq you can see at the very left of the diagram dq is written and at the top validation master plan so you have uh, prepared a master plan for the validation the process of validation and then what you are going to do is you are going to uh, go through two steps okay the first step is uh, the gxp requirement this is actually good practicing requirements right gxp is actually an abbreviation of good practicing requirements and the other side is user requirement specification what the user is requ uh, re requiring from you or uh, needs to get from you uh, that is the user requirement specification urs so you have two different categories uh, which you are going to follow while designing your master plan for the validation and then starting it that you have to see the uh, requirement uh, specifications of your uh, user or your client and plus you need to keep good practices in your area of work right now the next is vendor selection okay now if you're going to buy an instrument or you're going to buy some machine and or or something else your vendor selection um, that is seller who is going to sell that thing to you seller selection you have to uh, select a seller or a vendor which is uh, again uh, yes who could be reliable and you are giving him money or giving her money and he is selling or he, she is selling a good instrument good equipment to you okay then is functional requirement specification now the next way have you have got the instrument now uh, uh, what you have to do is you have to maintain the functional requirement specifications as well that uski kaun kaun se functions hain jo which are required by you so you need you you must have a clear specification that the what functions are required in that in that instrument or, or in that equipment now next is installation qualification which is iq in that uh, the first step is delivery uh, that the vendor has delivered the instrument to you and then in installation and then the instrument or the equipment is installed in your laboratory we will be discussing these these all in detail later on but right now just to have a nice clear picture of the validation uh, events flow of events we are discussing this this diagram so after installation oq that is operational qualification or operation qualification that you you are going to start the operation on the on your machine so configuration uh, after in installation uh, you have configured that everything is okay and okay and you you are easy and you are uh, you are settled with the machine or equipment and then write oq plan how to operate it write down it will be easy it will be uh, not only easy but it will be uh, better for for the machine and for yourself and for the process all the things executive operational testing now you have written the operational uh, qualification plan and now uh, test it that is it working if it is working excellent if it's not working uh, you need some changes do the changes then the performance qualification pq right pq plan 
how to perform on the machine executive procedural testing then again test it last one is mq okay i have given mq in in the steps in the previous slide like in mq is the maintenance qualification when you are using some machine you are using some instrument definitely the maintenance is very important so you have to you have to maintain the machine you have to maintain the instrument equipment and for that usage maintenance retirement change control each 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 thing is important now validation timeline uh, vendor side before purchase uh, structurally validated product whatever he is providing you it should be structurally validated dq design qualification then uh, owner side now you have got the machine before use uh, three things are important installation qualification properly installed operational qualification uh, you must know uh, how to operate the machine properly performance qualification you uh, now operation the machine is operational properly that will be considered in the uh, operational qualification and performance qualification be given that you know how to perform on the machines right so this <coughs> excuse me this all is uh, will be tackled in the fun functional validation and after use maintenance and in maintenance uh, again that uh, man, maintenance is important and operational and performance qualification is also uh, the, the part of the maintenance if you are uh, properly operating machine is properly uh, operating and you are properly performing and you are properly maintaining that will make the machine happy and definitely your customer as well validation versus qualification now you have to keep in your mind that the validation refers to the total life cycle of a product from development through use and maintenance right so validation is covering the whole 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 thing owners are responsible for validating their processes that is personnel equipment method sop uh, sop stands for standard operating procedures right to ensure the compliance to gmp glp regulations now uh, uh, validation again is a complete process now the qualification qualification um, uh, if you can see i have written a bit detail of the qualification that is uh, what is included in qualification is the inspection functional testing and documentation re review okay and if i uh, define it the, this is a part of the validation process which part of validation process i'm repeating which verifies module and system functional performance prior to being placed online online karne se pehle aap kar rahe hain usko check kar rahe hain and therefore according to a standard operating प्रोसीजर डेट इज एस ओ पी आप उसको फॉलो कर रहे हैं और उसमें आप अपने मॉड्यूल्स को और अपनी परफॉर्मेंस को वेरीफाई कर रहे हैं ओके जी ओके जी स्टेप्स और द फेजेज ऑफ क्वालिफिकेशन स्टेप वन डिजाइन क्वालिफिकेशन डी क्यू दिस डिफाइंस द फंक्शनल एंड ऑपरेशनल स्पेसिफिकेशन ऑफ अ बैलेंस इंस्ट्रूमेंट और अ प्रोसेस राइट एंड definitely uh, when you are designing a process in that case uh, you need to know that from where the process is going to start or kahan tak jana hai isko to aapko ye sari specifications operational specifications pata hone chahiye step 2 installation qualification iq ensures that the balance or instrument is received as designed and specified right so Uh, in installation qualification as a second step after design qualification you need to know that how it was designed the process or the or the product and when you are receiving it is it in the same condition uh, it was uh, uh, designed or it was asked to design and it was asked to specify it documents the installation in the selected user environment uh, definitely you you got you got your machine or you got your product or you got your thing uh, and now you want to install your 
uh, your your thing or your machine or your equipment in your environment now uh, it, it is very important you if you are installing an hplc in oxford and in lahore there is hell of difference between the temperature of the two areas so um, uh, you need to keep the temperature uh, in a specified limit and for that you will be requiring uh, a proper air cooling system plus uh, other requirements the uh, ventilation requirement so that means uh, what what is your environment that is very important you have to install your thing in your own environment so you have to properly specify that i'm requiring the thing in this uh, environment and you will tell the requirements and the needs according to your place step 3 operational qualification okay demonstrate that a balancer or instrument will function accordingly to its operational specification in the selected environment we have discussed it step 4 performance qualification pq demonstrate that an instrument consistently performing according to a specification appropriate to its routine use okay and step 5 Mm, as i have uh, told you earlier that i, I have been given in the phases as it's not the part of your curriculum but this is the part of the qualification so uh, just for your knowledge maintenance qualification mq describes and documents any maintenance required on the equipment now uh, validation is a complete circle uh, uh, we said the complete cycle of uh, of the process and we are just taking a part of that circle or that cycle and we are saying that this is the design qualification or uh, design qualification uh, may important kya kya vendor qualification vendor uh, is reliable he, he is providing the appropriate thing according to the requirement select instrument design qualification for design qualification this is also important that you are selecting the proper instrument according to your requirement requirements according to your procedure according to your uh, product and describe intended use of the instrument and tell that how you are going to use your instrument you have to keep the whole record that Uh, from where you have got the machine uh, from where you have bought the bought the machine and uh, um, while selecting what you have seen and now you have uh, bought the machine so how you you are going to use it and at the next level um, uh, these are uh, the operating in instructions these are important when you are going to use the machine declaration of conformity this is also important when you are using your machine uh, when i'm saying declaration of conformity conformity means confined with the standard rules and laws right so declaration is a simple word for the formal statement so you have you must ha be having a formal statement about how you are going to uh, follow the standard rules of using this machine right and the quality quality management system iso uh, whatsoever the iso iso is uh, asking uh, or requiring from you definitely you have to follow those things as well design qualification design qualification dq is a process of completing and documenting design reviews to illustrate that all quality aspects have been fully considered at the design stage while you are designing the process right you have considered all the possible uh, things which you are going to see or face during the process the purpose is to ensure that all the requirements for the final system have been clearly defined at the start at the start you must be defining each and everything and if you have uh, facing if you are facing some problem uh, just note it down Uh, make it uh, troubleshoot that problem and make it clear from the system and just take the note about that problem as well and then redesign your process so that next time around uh, you are going to avoid that that problem right so uh, dq or design qualification is actually uh, 
uh, the functional and the operational specifications of the instrument and details regarding the conscious decisions made in the selection of the supplier. You should uh, ensure that the instrument have all the necessary functions and the criteria that is going to enable you and the machine to be successfully uh, going through the system and going to implement all the all the requirements and the um, uh, requirements uh, requirements and the needs of the user. There are a few steps which are uh, if you are following while uh, design doing the design qualification uh, helps you a lot, right? So, uh, but uh, what what is helpful is that just describe the analysis problem. If you're getting some problem, describe it. Describe the intended use of the equipment. Um, if you are using an equipment, what is the intended use? Uh, design it properly uh, intended environment care so describe the intended environment the environment where you're going to use the machine that is also important describe it and um, if I'm saying this that uh, the uh, some some of the important scopes of the design qualification uh, or design val validation protocol um, uh, that just verify the design will achieve the uh, user requirement uh, specification jo bhi uski hai wo usko uh, achieve karne ja raha hai aapka design jo hai aur uh, verification that the system will be calibrated aapne jab use karna uh, usko calibrate kar le uske alawa isme ek do cheeze aur jo important hoti hain wo ye hoti hain ke just write down uh if you are getting some flaws if you are getting some some faults if you are getting some uh, you are facing some some hardships just write down and redesign redesign your process and redesign the things uh, or if uh, if uh, it does not work um, uh, make it sure ke aap ye pakad sake ki aapne galti kahan ki hai ठीक है तो उसके बाद फिर यह है कि वो गलती किस वजह से हुई है मेक इट क्लियर एंड देन रीडिजाइन इट विल वर्क नो आफ्टर नाइस लॉन्ग डिस्कशन ऑन वैलिडेशन एंड डिजाइन क्वालिफिकेशन आई थिंक यू पीपल कैन डू वन थिंग दैट जस्ट राइट डाउन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द वैलिडेशन एंड क्वालिफिकेशन the first question you have to do is and the second is why is design qualification important for a successful validation you have to answer this as well you have to give me proper reason that why design qualification is important and if we are not doing this what can be the drawbacks right okay all the best stay safe stay at, uh, stay at your home and please pray for each and every person who is suffering Uh, and pray this as well ke allah taala sabko mehfooz rahe rakhe amen assalam alaikum